So we shall now process to unbolting the mains and the big ends and remain the, remove the oil pickup pipe. The first stage being remove the oil pickup which the bolts have been removed from these areas here which has now allowed the pickup to uh, be moved and still again even the gauze is respectively clean although it will have a full thorough wash. Now that we've removed the nuts holding the big end shells together we'll now just gently tap the uh, pistons down removing the bearing caps. Imperative to keep these at the moment attached as they come out pair them back up and mark where they've come from. Okay the first piston has now been removed looking in reasonable condition but obviously micrometering and checks will be the answer. Now although this engine did seem very clean at first glances they can be deceiving the bearing caps are showing that they are shot okay so it was correct to pull it apart she does also show on the markings that she is still running standard bearing so she is still well in tolerance to be able to be machined as we can see by the silver that is on this side of the bearing the white metal in stroke bearing face is still good that would be what you'd expect the copper is actually the material that's put on prior to the bearing face material. That is the obvious sign that these bearings are, are scrap. Okay, all, all pistons and rods now removed and we shall now move to removing the last of the mains and then we can get the crank out and she's ready for cleaning. Okay, hand plates off front oil pumps off, removing the last mains cap. The bearings on these are also showing standard and although slightly worn still this engine was in reasonably good condition. And that should now allow us to move and lift the crankshaft. And there we have it, one crankshaft. We shall now put it to a safe level so that no damage can happen to it. Okay, one clean, one clean strip, well not clean, but one fully stripped engine, a couple of casting plugs to remove, and then we can look to clean all the galleries uh, before any machine and liners are sorted. Thank you for watching.